This is a demonstration of the Arts Test Bench software. This is a program that is a graphical user interface that we work with our automated test equipment that runs on a Windows form factor. Uh, this is used to test the flight readiness of LRUs before they go on to the planes. Um, all user input interaction um, was done in a Windows factor to minimize training for operators. Uh, there's some key uh, areas of interest I want to show um, on the user interface. The top here we have the control bar. Um, we can load, reload tests. This is where we can run. We can actually search for different tests as well and then also run and print. Uh, in the middle here is where all the LRUs will be displayed. If we have more, we could scroll to the side, but for this particular demo, we're showing two. On the left-hand side here is the Test Set Explorer. So when a user selects an LRU, it loads up the particular tests that make up the test set for the unit. Um, on this particular one, um, they're made from the TOs for source qualification for the uni uni units that we get from uh, the manufacturer. The OEM usually supplies these uh, test data sheets and then we translate them into software that we can run. Um, you can see on this particular one we're testing the beacon and the DC calibration, also firing off the bit test and so on and so forth. Um, for the transmitter here, we clicked on this guy, you see it's it's got about seven or eight different tests. The R, RF output power, bandwidth, so these are the ones that would pass qualification before it can actually be put on the plane. Uh, towards the bottom left here is the user input box. Uh, what happens here is if there's a test that's being run that needs the user to interact with it, such as entering a serial number or disconnecting um, a test connector, this would display to the user so that they the test will pause and they know to go and do what it's asking to do and then they continue on. On the left here, this is alerts. This just tells you uh, what, what's being done at the current time. Uh, these are old and we should actually clear them out. It's from the last run. And then finally over here is where we have the emergency stop. And that's if anything goes bad, we need to hit that thing. Uh, let's run through the LPRF. This particular one will run all and here at the top. Help me to save. So it's beginning to run here, but actually we have an alert at the bottom. So this is asking the user to select the dash number. For this particular unit that's running, it has different configurations for measured data. Uh, so we'll go with go one for this guy and then we'll tell it to continue. You can see here that the progress starts and it's running through the test. It'll continue to go down through there. And you can see green check is for a test that's passed. Over here, data is being populated under the test results tab. You can see the measured values being populated. And now we had an alert down here. And you saw that red. Uh, this is telling us that this particular test, uh, 2.0, 4.29, the frequency calibration actually failed. So this, that's the user feedback that we give when a test fails. Now over here, the test is, is stopped again and it's asking the user to disconnect a signal. So we would disconnect this waypoint input, input guide and then reconnect it to a test input. And we'll continue. It's asking us to disconnect another input signal, signal. So we continue again. And again, now it's going to continue through. So as long as it doesn't require user interaction, the automated test equipment will just run. But for certain tests, we'll, you, we have requirements where a uh, test connector has to be disconnected for the LRU to function correctly. So it's certain interactions you have to do with the units. It's asking us to disconnect again, so we'll confirm, confirm, and we're done. Uh, so we can look at the results here. Uh, the results tab, we can see all the tests run. Uh, these are also collapsible. If you're just wanting to go in and delve into one particular test, and we can go up and see this troublemaker that didn't pass. This is test 
Uh, so here we can see that the frequency calibration air to ground mode did not pass for this particular unit. And it looks like it failed here on 4.2.992, which is the frequency band three uh, measured to frequency band two. So after this is all done, the user can go up and display the printed results. And all these numbers here coincide with the TOs for this particular unit. Once it's done, it can be printed. It can be printed to PDF or it can be printed to paper. So we'll save some trees and not print this one. But this is uh, the general layout of the arts test bench and how a user would interact with this. Um, thank you for watching.